Okay, we move on. I think we have to fix the factor. This is the present value. Uh, I don't know, just have to put here. You have uh, discount rate. To make it more transparent, if you look at the... This is hidden in the formula. Okay, so inside this formula, there's a 6% here which is not really good because it's not transparent so I need to put like a 6% here and then copy to the right okay once you have that you can just link it okay so you just link it here and then for the zero you just link it to uh, I don't know just to here I guess yes okay and then I just copy to the right okay so it's quite transparent you can see this is all the formula there's no hard coded it's linked to the, your input okay uh, what else uh, okay what's this uh, data validation to control input okay um, we need is this 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Okay, I make it a bit complicated. Okay, just insert here. Mm, insert again. And then I make this. Uh, okay, so I will put the input here. Oh, you can put the input here basically. I don't think need this. Okay. So I will put like a here, I copy, I put here, and also this I copy and then I put here, and then this is the same, this is the same, and this is the same. Okay, so this is, I put if, this is zero then it is this otherwise it's zero and then you just copy to the right and this is the same if this is equal to zero then you have zero otherwise you have this amount okay so I just copy to the right Oops. I forgot to put the anchor at F4 Okay, I think this should be also F4. Okay, this. Okay, now this is the same. Uh, you will put that in the first year, no problem. If this is equal to zero, then you have this amount installation F4, otherwise it's zero. Okay, and this, uh, I don't know, I put 50,000, hopefully fine with you. You can put 75,000 if you want. Ah, 50,000 should be fine. So, this is just to equal to this F4. And then you just link it, oh, no, no, no. I'll put that the whole year. Reduction in overhead. Okay, i put that each year. And then this if uh, this is one is zero, then you have zero. Otherwise, you have this. And put F4, and then you just copy to the right. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much for the. Now we have to build the data validation. You, I don't know. I put this six percent also, so I just put here, and the tax rate also I put. Here. Here. so basically you just link it to your six percent it's reduce your flexibility but yeah that's still fine because the uh, tax rate is uh, pretty uh, constant or stabilized during the forecast period otherwise you have something changed along the way <sighs> what I'm doing here so Okay, so 6%, so I just have to copy to the right, 
and then this one is here and then you just F4 and then you copy to the right okay so it's already linked so if I change this like a 40% it changes it's a 30% it changes this is the same okay so this all amount should be more than zero this should be cost of equipment okay I don't I don't have to put minus here I guess so this one is a minus and then you just link it to the right and it also I think I have to take out the minus and instead I put minus here and then you just copy to the right and then you have 25% I don't think that we need this uh, negative we just have to put the negative here and then you just copy to the right okay and then now we have to this should be all more than zero so data validation uh, any value say yes any value whole number greater than zero and then you can put like a, a import message uh, the title is uh, like you know data uh, data entry um, uh insert uh number more than zero okay and an error message is uh, data entry error oops I told you to input more than zero okay so I think that's pretty much done and then we can just uh, control copy then control copy and then you just paste PCL I don't know okay, that's, that's validation okay so you, you can see that there's a message here I put it a bigger you can see that you know if I put like a zero I put like a minus two Oh. oops I told you to input zero okay retry so you have to retry that and if you put like uh, zero then oops okay so there's already control so we have a data validation here uh, just save it so the eight minutes wow now i need the discount rate i think we go to that in the next video